With the waterway opened on June the 20th, Phase 5 could begin and some of the players could leave the field. As the crane drew up her wheels, it was clear that there was some heavy lifting still to be done. She came to life in a slow, controlled fashion. Nearby, a testament to earlier work, boaters could be seen using the waterway. Before long, the last of the tour boats, trapped above the causeway, had escaped. To the west of the gap, work could be seen continuing on the removal of the remains of the bridge. Keen eyes will notice that in the east, the beams used to lift the deck are now free. With little ceremony, outloading of essential ancillaries begins. Western's massive blue reinforced beam, so critical to the lift, is next to load. The considerable care evident in all the company's work is no less evident here. The cross beam so closely associated with it is next to go. The transport draws ahead to secure the load and the weight accompanying vehicles. Next to load is the first of the long beams that had supported the bridge deck on the barge. Its length is emphasised by the use of an extended trailer. Management of the loading process is facilitated by moving the trailer slightly forward. Considerable care is taken to position the beam precisely. Preparations to lift the second beam begin almost immediately. Then movement of the beam is all in the hands of the crane operator. It doesn't take very long then before all the loads for Western are on the road. With its work in Kingston complete, it's time then for the big Tadano crane to depart. But many of you may be wondering, what's happening on the remainder of the site? This view of the West End shows that cutting up major pieces is happening, and there's a substantial amount of debris which will, eventually, have to be removed. Of the original static structure, less than half remains. The tangle of reinforcing rod beside the excavator comes largely from the counterweight. It will be very interesting to see just how much resistance the reinforcement seen here around the damaged beam puts up. This was the scene as the weekend began. The machinery cabin gone, a rare look at the shafts and gears that drove the bridge is available. And here you catch a glimpse of the electric motor responsible. It will be interesting indeed to see how things progress 
and if you want to follow along, this is a good place to do so. In the meantime, stay safe, enjoy the summer, and thanks for watching.